by the homeward Lance Corporal Philip H. Hess grew up, I would like to thank everyone for coming to Quantic Township's 2012 Street Renaming Dedication. My name is Rich Fallon and I am humbled and deeply honored to be here today to speak about Lance Corporal Philip H. Hess, a hero, a Pequannock Township hero, who gave his life for our nation, who gave his life for you and me. During the Vietnam War, 58,220 soldiers gave their lives for service for their country, including four from Pequannock Township. They were Major Frederick Terry, Jr., Lieutenant Junior Grade Dennis Ehrlich, who today is still listed as an MIA missing in action soldier, Private First Class Dennis Felt, and Lawrence Lance Corporal Philip H. Hess, who we honor here today. Lance Corporal Philip Hess lost his life in, Siet in South Vietnam three days before Christmas 1966. He served and died so that we could keep the things we love the most, God, country, and family. He served in conflict to protect our land and sacrifice his dreams of the day to preserve the hopes of our nation. All of us, he left a legacy of freedom and taught us the value of sacrifice. All of us are in debt to Lance Corporal Philip H. Hess, one of our sons of the Quantic Township, who became a fallen soldier and a man of distinguished courage. We also must think about his family and friends and mark this very special day celebrating his legacy while grieving his absence in theirs and ours lives. Gathering together on this day is one way to Quantic Township shows his appreciation and gratitude and pay, to pay homage to him. Could we please post the colors? Thank you, Merrick. Ladies and gentlemen, we honor Philip today and the 58,000 who were killed in Vietnam. We honor Philip with this memorial and we honor all those men and women who in the history of our country, soon to be 236 years old, that gave of the ultimate their sacrifice in honor of our country and flag. Honoring them, let us pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, born and unborn. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Okay, next is Pastor Chad D. Yeager from the First Reformed Church for the invocation. I've been asked to give an invocation this afternoon and would like to do so for all who would feel comfortable to join me in this time of prayer. Let's pray. Yeah. Almighty God, we gather here to remember a son, a friend, a neighbor, <clears throat> a man, a brother, and a hero. 
We gather to remember a man who did what you call the greatest love. He laid down his life for others. The cause for freedom is a noble and worthy cause. But God, so often we find ourselves like Philip in the middle of a battle we did not start and cannot end. Today we still remember Philip and his life. We mourn with his family still mourning 46 years later. We mourn the loss of other friends, brothers, and neighbors that lost their lives in battle. We pray for the people of Vietnam still finding their way after the war that took Philip's life 46 years ago. We pray for the modern Vietnams in our world, in Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, Iran, Burma, and Sudan. For innocent civilians, for misguided and corrupt governments, for soldiers and families and communities. We pray for soldiers of every branch, race, and country. As we stand remembering the death of a man, we long for the day when your promise becomes a reality, the day when lion and lamb will lay next to each other and the world will know peace. In your name and by your grace, we pray. Amen. Okay, I'd like to introduce um, Philip Hesse's family. Um, first, uh, I, we have Kathy and Eileen. We have his, we have his brother, Robert and Howie. We have Uncle Frank, who traveled here from Virginia. He didn't make it, okay. Sorry about that, okay. As well as all Lance Corporal Philip Hess's nieces and nephews. So they'd like to come forward. Okay, why don't you guys come over by me so the camera can get you. Okay, just come around so We are honored and humbled today for this dedication for our brother and uncle. 46 years ago, we received the worst news a family could receive. Phil, who volunteered for love of country and sense of duty, paid the ultimate price. As a family, we have always remembered and held him in our hearts. Our deepest, deepest gratitude goes to Frank Mackey for the endless hours that he's put into bringing this dedication together, the Marine Corps League, the mayor and town of Aquanic, and each one of you who have taken the opportunity to be here from this busy holiday weekend. There are many opportunities to honor those who have served in conflicts and past wars. Often the most poignant message is said in a few words. A heartfelt thank you to a veteran from any era is never ill-timed. Also, supporting organizations that raise money for our wounded heroes, such as the Family and Friends for Freedom Fund, a local organization that was started by a family in the Quantic Township in 2004 or the Wounded Warriors Project to help those that have served and came back injured to get their lives back together. Honor them just as we honor my brother today. I have a poem that my sister wrote in 1997 entitled Monumental Heroes. The names on the wall had faces. The faces had families as well. The families all have stories and if you'll listen, they all have the same one to tell. You all share their joy and hear the laughter and grieve with them when there was none. For the names on the wall were a father, a brother, a husband, a son. And you'll know the pride they are feeling as their tears gently fall. For they always knew they were heroes 
every name that is etched on the wall. Thank you, Kathy. Okay. Um, next, we have the ex-chief of police of Pequannock Township, um, Bill. Thank you, sir. Thank, I'd like to thank everyone for coming here today, uh, especially the, uh, the Hess family who traveled up from Florida, the two Hess boys, Kathy and Eileen, still live in town. I know it says on the uh, itinerary that I was a friend of Phil's. And I am a friend of Phil's, but I never had the pleasure of meeting Phil. I got to know Phil through the Hess family. I was fortunate to get to know uh, Phil's parents, his brothers and sisters, and, and I could just, uh, by meeting and knowing them, they got me to know what type of uh, person that Phil was and he was someone that I was very really proud to stand next to, but I'm very proud to be here today and take part in this ceremony. Philip Huff was born on September 28, 1945. His family moved here to Pequannock Township in 1955. Phil was 10 years old. He grew up just four houses south of us at 126 Boulevard. I'm confident in saying that right here in the corner, this Tudor type home it was built in the uh, mid 70s, I recall. Before that, it was a vacant lot. And I'm sure <coughs> Phil spent many of his childhood. Uh, hours running around playing in that field. So I know his spirit is with us today. Phil, as Kathy mentioned, was killed in action in Vietnam on December 22, 1966. He was killed in Chi Lai, which is a seaport town in Quang Nam Province, which is in the I Corps, the northern section of South Vietnam during the Vietnam War. It was near the uh, military compound uh, center, which is the name which I'm sure you all heard of. Back then it was a ravaged village, ravaged by war. Today I understand it is an, an urban and industrial uh, hub of that section of Vietnam. It was certainly different than when Phil served here. It's been mentioned it's 2.5 million Americans that served in Vietnam. 58,000 lost their lives. 153,000 were wounded. 1,664 remain missing in action. Of that 2.5 million, 391 served in the United States Marine Corps. Almost 15,000 were killed. 51,000 injured. And 212 of those MIAs are on the region. Philip's family, his, his father Howard, ironically died on January 3rd, 1997. And the reason I bring that date up is because the day that Philip was laid to rest at Mary Rest Cemetery in Mawa was 30 years to the day, January 3rd, 1967. He was waked right here at uh, M. John Scale and Feeling Home in town. And over the years, I, I spoke to many of his friends who are here today and his classmates who have vivid recollections, not only of Philip's wake, but of his life and, and his short life, how he touched so many other lives. In closing, I would just like to recite a quotation that was ironically written by a United States Marine Corps chaplain, Father Dennis Edward O'Brien. And I think this kind of tells it all about Phil's legacy and the legacy of all our veterans. And here it goes as such. It's the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us the freedom of the press. It is the soldier, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the soldier, not the campus organizer, 
who has given us the freedom to demonstrate. It is the soldier who salutes the flag, serves beneath the flag, and has the flag draped over his coffin when he is killed in action, who has given those who choose to do so the right to burn a flag. Again, I thank you all for coming. I thank God for Phil Hess and what he has done for us. I thank God for this great community that's come out today, our governing body and our organizations, and probably many of you that didn't know Phil. But you came out because you care. And it's important to know Phil's legacy lives on through his family. Uh, Kathy and Eileen participate every day in the Memorial Day Parade and laying the wreath by the First Reformed Church at the Vietnam Memorial. There was also a, a plaque on the front lawn of the Quantic High School that was put in by his classmates, his friends in 1967 at school there. So every time you pass this intersection and see this sign that will be unfurled shortly, uh, I'd like you to uh, just reflect on Phil's life and what he's done. And uh, again, I know he's been thanked with Frank Mackey. Uh, I put so much effort into this as he's done for other causes. And if Yogi Berra was here today, we would certainly thank Frank for making the state necessary. I thank you kindly, and God bless you, and God bless America. Okay, is Jason here? Okay, Jason, you know what to do, right? Yep. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, it's all yours. It's a pretty sight, that's for sure. Okay, Kathy and Melissa. Okay, please. Okay, on behalf of the town council and every, and when I say every resident, I mean every resident in Pequannock Township, I dedicate and rename this street to Lance Corporal Philip H. Hess Boulevard. A couple more things that will happen but as we prepare to go let me offer us this blessing as we go giving honor to the memory of philip hess go into a broken world displaying a love that lays down life for neighbor go by the grace of god amen okay can we present honors please
JFK. In closing, we must never forget what Lance Corporal Philip H. Hess has done and what his loved ones have lost. Today is our day to say thank you to him who paid so dearly with his life and to the family and friends whose lives were ever changed on December 22nd, 1966, and to whom, whom we owe an enormous debt to. So thank you everybody for coming today for this ceremony. <laughs>